Hi guys! Legitimate interest is one of the six lawful bases for processing personal data. You must have a lawful basis in order to process personal data in line with the lawfulness, fairness and transparency principle. Now, legitimate interest is different to the other lawful bases as it is not centered around a particular purpose. For example, performing a contract with the individual or complying with a legal obligation, protecting vital interests or carrying out a public task. And it is not processing that the individual has um, specifically agreed to uh, through, let's say, through consent. Legitimate interest is more flexible. It puts the responsibility on you to balance your legitimate interests and the necessity of processing the personal data against the interests, rights and freedoms of the individual taking into account the particular circumstances. And this is different to the other lawful bases, which presume that your interests and those of the individual are balanced. Now, the key elements of the legitimate interest provision can be broken down into three-part question test. First, the purpose test. Is there a legitimate interest behind the processing? Then the necessity test. Is the processing necessary for that purpose? And the balancing test. Is the legitimate interest overridden by the individual's interests, rights or freedoms? This means it is not sufficient for you to simply decide that it's in your legitimate interest and start processing the data you must be able to satisfy all three parts of the test prior to commencing your processing. So what counts as a legitimate interest? A wide range of interests may be legitimate interests. It could be your legitimate interest in the processing or it could include the legitimate interest of any third party. So let's take first an example. An insurance company wants to process personal data to spot fraudulent claims on the basis of legitimate interests. Firstly, it considers the purpose test. It is in the company's legitimate business interest to ensure that its customers do not defraud it out of money. However, at the same time, the company's other customers and the public in general also have a legitimate interest in ensuring that fraud is prevented and detected. As it has met the purpose test, the insurance company can then go into considering the necessity test and then the balancing test. Now, the GDPR does not define what factors to take into account when deciding if your purpose is a legitimate interest. It could be as simple as it being legitimate to start up a new business activity or to grow your business. Showing that you have a legitimate interest does mean, however, that you must have some clear and specific benefit or outcome in mind. For example, it is not enough to simply say we have a legitimate interest in processing customer data as this does not clarify your purpose or intended outcome. Instead, you need to be more specific about your purpose such as we have a legitimate interest in marketing our goods to existing customers to increase sales. Whilst any purpose could potentially be relevant, that purpose must be legitimate. Anything illegitimate, unethical or unlawful is not a legitimate interest. For example, although marketing may be in general a legitimate purpose, sending spam emails in breach of electronic marketing rules is not legitimate. The GDPR does not have an exhaustive list of what purposes are likely to constitute a legitimate interest. However, the recitals do say the following purposes constitute a legitimate interest. The fraud prevention, ensuring network and information security, or indicating possible criminal acts or threats to public security. Therefore, if you are processing for one of these purposes, you may have less work to do to show that the legitimate interest basis applies. Also, the following activities may indicate a legitimate interest. Processing employee or client data, direct marketing, or administrative transfers within a group of companies. However, whilst these last three activities may indicate a legitimate interest, 
you still need to do some work to identify your precise purpose and show that it is legitimate in the specific circumstances and in particular that any direct marketing complies with e-privacy rules on consent. You would also need to go on to assess the rest of the three-part test. So when is processing necessary? You need to demonstrate that the processing is necessary for the purposes of the legitimate interest you have identified. This doesn't mean that it has to be absolutely essential, but it must be a targeted and proportionate way of achieving your purpose. You need to decide on the facts of which case whether the processing is proportionate and adequately targeted to meet its objectives and whether there is any less intrusive alternative. For example, can you achieve your purpose by some other reasonable means without processing the data in this way? If you could achieve your purpose in a less invasive way, then the more invasive way is not necessary. Let me take again an example. A public figure posts a video about overcrowding on trains that shows them on a train run by a particular train operator. The video is reported on by various media outlets. The train operator wants to release the CCTV footage of the public figure on the train in order to counter the reports that the train was overcrowded. The footage it holds also inc includes images of the other passengers. So the train operator has a legitimate interest in releasing the footage in order to correct what it deems to be misleading news reports that are potentially damaging to its reputation and commercial interests. It considers the necessity test and concludes that it is not possible to achieve its legitimate interest without publishing the image of the public figure as it can only counter the existing news footage to show that there were empty seats on the train if it shows the public figure on that journey. However, whilst it is able to demonstrate that it is necessary to publish the public figure's image in order to pursue its legitimate interest, for example, to give its side of the story, it is not necessary for the train operator to publish pictures of anyone else on the train. It needs, therefore, to take steps to ensure that the images of passengers other than the public figure are obscured, as well as going on to consider the balancing test. You should be careful not to confuse processing that is necessary for your stated purpose which with processing which is only necessary because of your chosen method of pursuing that purpose. Just because you have determined that your processing is necessary for a legitimate interest does not mean that you are automatically able to rely on this basis for processing. You must also perform a balancing test to justify any impact on individuals. The balancing test is where you take into account the interests or fundamental rights and freedoms of the data subject which require the protection of personal data and check they don't override your interests. In essence, this is a light touch risk assessment to check that any risks to individual interests are proportionate. The interests, rights and freedoms of individuals in this context is a broad concept which includes data protection and privacy rights, but also other fundamental rights as well as more general interests. It is clear from other related provisions in the GDPR, which talk about risks to the rights and freedoms of individuals, that the focus here should be on any potential impact on individuals. Recital 75 provides some relevant um, guidance around this topic. Now, it makes clear that the risk to individuals' rights and freedoms is about the potential for any type of impact. This includes physical, financial or any other impact, such as inability to exercise the rights, loss of controls over the use of personal data or any social or economic disadvantage. So let's take an example. An individual uploads their CV to a jobs board website. A recruitment agency accesses the CV and thinks that the individual may have the skills that two of its clients are looking for and wants to pass the CV. It is likely in this situation that the lawful basis for processing for the recruitment agency and their clients is legitimate interest. The individual has made their CV available on a job board website 
for the express reason of employers being able to access this data. They have not given specific consent for identified data controllers, but they would clearly expect that recruitment agencies would access the CV and share with it their clients. Indeed, this is likely to be the individual's intention. As such, the legitimate interest of the recruitment agencies and their clients to fill vacancies would not be overridden by any interests or rights of the individual. In fact, those legitimate interests are likely to align with the interests of the individual in circulating their CV in order to find a job. Even if the processing might have a negative impact on the individual, this does not automatically mean that their interests always override yours. This depends on the severity of the impact and whether it is warranted in light of your purpose. Your interests do not always have to be in harmony with those of the individual. A finance company is unable to locate a customer who has stopped making payments under a higher purchase agreement. The customer has moved house without notifying the finance company of their new address. The finance company wants to engage a debt collection agency to find the customer and seek repayment of the debt. It wants to disclose the customer's personal data to the agency for this purpose. The finance company has a legitimate interest in recovering the debt it is owned and in order to achieve this purpose it is necessary for them to use a debt collection agency to track down the customer for payment owed. The finance company considers the balancing test and concludes that it is reasonable for its customers to expect that they will take steps to seek payment of outstanding debts. It is clear that the interests of the customer are likely to differ from those of the finance company in this situation as it may suit the customer to evade paying their outstanding debt. However, the legitimate interest in passing the personal data to a debt collection agency in these circumstances would not be overridden by the interests of the customer. The balance would be in favor of the finance company.